and we're switching back to English now to talk to Johnny Lieberman, a feature, senior feature editor for Modern Trend, to talk about uh, the tragic death of uh, Paul Walker. Hi, Johnny. Uh, thank you for taking the time talking to us. Of course. How are you doing? Yeah, Johnny. Uh, it's been a, a busy week in a, in, a, in a very weird, sad, I don't know, uh, kind of way. I mean, we started with uh, Paul Walker dead over the weekend, and... Um, And it's it's amazing to me. It's almost uh, a week now after that, and it seems like the news has already died. But it's it's a pretty important uh, fact that happened, right? I mean, uh, sadly, two people died, but there's much more to that, right? Well, I mean, you know, I, I, maybe out in Miami it seems like it's died. I mean, I, I you know, out here in Los Angeles, I mean, a lot of people knew both Roger and Paul, and uh, it really, I mean, at least in my circle of friends and kind of the, the car guys I keep company with, like. It's what people are talking about, um, but uh, so it's yeah, it's a pr pretty crazy week. <laughs> yeah, uh, so um, a lot of people initially, when this happened and the news broke, uh, started talking about the, the actual car, how difficult it is to drive. Have you driven that car? Uh, I have. I, you know, I, I I don't like. I mean, it's it, it, it's a good story, I guess. To say, oh, the car's hard to drive, but. A driven car is much harder to drive than that. Like, for instance, the last generation Viper is yeah. much more difficult. Like yeah. the, the, the Carrera GT, it stalls a lot because there's a light clutch. Yeah. Um, but I didn't find it particularly difficult to drive. Now, there's a lot of stuff like, well, 182 miles an hour is difficult, but you know what? All cars are difficult at that speed. And then there was a thing where Walter Roll, who uh, rally, uh, Austrian rally car driver I've driven with many times, he said that on the Nürburgring in the wet, it's very difficult. But that's, you know, an extreme condition when it's raining. And I don't know, in, in Southern California, it's not that difficult to drive that car. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and the guy driving, uh, Ron Rodas, is an you know, extremely uh, experienced and capable driver. So. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that uh, caught my attention more because I mean, these uh, there were two people that obviously knew what they were doing. I mean, they, these they're not people who just got their driver's license like last week, right? So I mean, uh, yeah. obviously the investigation is going on, and we won't really know probably even after that what really happened. But uh, I mean, what's what, what's your thoughts about that? I mean, what what could have happened? Well, I, you know, I, I honestly I don't even want to speculate. I mean, I, I think what you said is the key thing is until the investigation is complete, it's all speculation. You know, um, who knows? I, I don't know. Um, you know, it, 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 to me, the, the, the frightening part is, you know, uh, two guys dying in a car crash. You know, that's what I do for a living. I go and I drive cars. Yeah. Uh, and I drive high-performance cars quickly. You know, we try and be always as safe as possible. But, I mean, how many times have, you, have I had a hot car and, like, picked up a friend of mine and, like, hey, check this thing out, you know? So it, it's frightening. Um, you know, the, the, I, it, 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 and really, it, it's just a tragedy. I mean, there's, you know, like, like, you know, let's say that it turns out that X happened. Well, I mean, what does that do? These, these guys are gone. I know. And, you know, they're, they're both, both really good guys. So I, you know, like everyone, I'm curious to see what actually happened. Um, I don't know, but I just think that, you know, it's just it's a real loss to the to the car community. Yeah, absolutely. And I think hopefully something good will come out of this. I mean, some people will, like, as you said, like, be as safe as possible whenever they take the will. One thing that in the initial reports of the investigation said that maybe the car was going at 45 miles an hour, and some people think that that's not very fast. But, like, the IIHS, when they do their tests, they do it only at 40, and that the car sustained a lot of damage at that speed, right? Yeah, um, you know, again, we don't know, um, and, and you don't know how they hit, or you know, yeah. you just don't know. So, so it's totally, you know, it's I just don't know. I mean, you know, and I really, I, have, I just don't want to speculate because who knows what happened. Um, and, and again, I mean, the, the real story is that it's just a real tragedy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Johnny, on a, I, I've been enjoying like following the, the news, uh, reading your posts uh, on uh, social media and all that, but also enjoying everything at uh, Motor Trend and uh, on the, some more lighter and, and happier news. Uh, Motor Trend gave yeah. gave up uh, this week the Truck of the Year award for the second time to the Ram. Uh, that's pretty pretty yeah, cool news. They did. They did. Hey, you know, Javier, just before we move on, I do you want to say one thing though? Um, uh, just back to, to Paul Walker for just one sure. second, and I'll move on to the Ram. Is that everyone I know who knew the guy? They said, you know, the best thing that uh, people can do, you know, if they want to do anything, is, is to give some money to his charity. Is a, he had a charity oh, yeah. called Reach Out Worldwide. Um, 
and it's uh, it's uh, uh, ROWW.org, and you can just go there, and they, they help support like relief efforts around the world for typhoons and earthquakes and all sorts of different disasters. Yeah, we, to, which is what. Say that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you. For, thank you for that. And which yeah. is what he was doing that day, right? Yeah. Promoting that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll post sorry. that. We'll put that and like uh, make sure that uh, people know about that uh, and hopefully people yeah, will help. Cause, cause, and like I said, every, everyone I know that was friends with him, and just through a weird series of coincidences, I happen to know a lot of people. Like the woman that did his makeup is like my wife's best friend and all this wow. stuff. Um, you know, they all said that that's you know the number one thing that people can do just to like kind of remember him is just to, to support that charity. But huh? moving on to the Ram, yes, the Ram fifteen hundred. Uh, for the first time since we started giving the award out back in the 70s, uh, the Ram is the first back-to-back -back truck of the year winner. Um, and uh, what, what, it, what it came down to really, I mean, it's an, it's an excellent truck. I'm actually uh, I'm going to park out in the driveway right now. Um, you know, it's got, it's got this great eight-speed transmission, which it had last year. It has this wonderful air suspension, which it had last year. But what really, to us, when we, when we give an of-the-year award, um, we want to find something that, like, you know, kind of marks uh, a point in time. And that's uh, the Ram's introduction of a um, a small diesel, a very torquey, but small diesel to the full-size truck segment. And, and for us, that just kind of pushed the whole lineup over the top. It was just that much better than all the other competition. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty good. Yeah, I've driven that car, too, and it's pretty amazing. And, like, in that segment, the pickup trucks, I mean, it's, I, I, it's hard to understand somehow how the Ford F-150 have been the number one sell, sold vehicle in the States for 36 years, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With no, with no sign of slowing down. However, if any truck is going to chip away at it, um, we think that it's going to be the Ram 1500 just because it's, it's, you know, you get this wonderful combination of uh, functionality, um, it looks great, it, it, it rides and handles great, so that air suspension was a real game changer. And now, with the diesel, I mean, you can get some real economy. I mean, you know, diesel does cost a little bit more than gasoline in most parts of the country. However, um, in, in some kind of anecdotal testing we did, uh, we were seeing over 600 miles of range per tank. Uh, you compare that to a gasoline engine truck, and, you know, you're, you're maybe 400 miles if you're lucky. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just an absolutely incredible vehicle. So hats off to, to all the guys at Ram that just just a really great job with this truck. Yeah, and time is money. So when you are in your car and you're driving for that long and you don't have to stop and plan for refueling and all that, so that 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 figured out to be a good thing, I think, right? Absolutely. I mean, the the, the, the hardest part is that you know who, who can go in a car 600 miles without having to get out and go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, yeah, that's another thing. Or cheating the drivers, but but yeah, I mean, it's just it's just it's very efficient, and and you don't have to. Stop and fill up all the time. Yeah. So Motor Train has given up already the SUV uh, uh, award for the year to the Subaru um, Forester and the CTS for yeah. the car, and now the truck is something else that I've been missing? Yeah. Um, the only other award we give out, and, and it's kind of a later in the year, is our, our best driver's car. And so uh, for 2013, and actually there's another back to back winner, uh, the first time ever for, for best driver's car, was the Porsche 911, the new one, the 991. Um, and so in, in July, we'll be, we'll be testing uh, the Mazda Raceway with Guna Seca uh, for our next uh, best driver's car, which is really just a way for us to get all the best and fanciest, newest, uh, high-performance cars and supercars and sports cars together and, you know, shut down a road with the California Highway Patrol and, and go crazy for a couple of days and then drive around a racetrack. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, it's, it's a lot of fun also to read it on the magazine and, like, uh, enjoying everything that you guys do there at Motor Trends. Well, John Lieberman, senior feature well, writer so for uh, Motor Trends, thank you very much for your time again, and I hope to see you soon uh, at one of these events. Yeah, Javier, anytime, man. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.